Hey guys, so let's grab an early morning coffee and see how we can use the AWS Secrets Engine in HashiCorp Vault. So basically I have decided this year that I am going to do something useful with my free time <coughs> and I, I am getting Terraform certifications, maybe I'm late to the party, but it is what it is. So uh, basically what I did is to set up my CentOS 9 machine so that it has uh, Vault installed and configured and it lives in my home folder and I have the config.acl set up so it is going to be running base of this configuration and when we use the vault server dash config equals config.hcl it is going to start the server and what i'm going to do in another terminal is to log into the centos machine same centos machine and we have the export vault addr which is going to point to HTTP CentOS 9 8200. So if you are familiar with Vault, uh, what you have to do after you start up the server is to unseal the server. So let's visit the HTTP CentOS 9 8200 address. And I have, <laughs> I was a good boy, so I, downloaded these keys and I set this key part to three keys. So I have to copy three out of these five keys to unseal the vault. And voila, now we need the root token to access it. And since I'm using root token, every time I refresh, I am also warned, so you had been warned, uh, that if I refresh this page, I will need to use my root token to log in once again. It's a, I don't know, security thingy. So what we can do is to go here to the left side to secrets engines and basically on the top right side, create a new engine. And it supports uh, multiple cloud engines, Ali Cloud, AWS Azure, whatnot. And this is going to be the AWS that we enable. And once it's enabled, we need a role. So if I log in to my AWS console, what I can do is to go to policies and AC2 full access Amazon policy. And I can either use the ARN, which is the identifier for the policy, or I can go to the JSON document, click here and copy it as it is, and go back to my vault and paste it to the policy document. I could also have done the same, so use this ARN and paste it here. It would have the same result. So. Let's call this, I don't know, Amazon AC2 full access. And once this is done and we have created our role, we have one part of the configuration that has to be done, which is under the configuration. So for that to happen, we need a user. And let's go to create new user and call this vault user and we want to provide access to AWS Management Console. Yep. Manage in Identity Center. What the hell? No, I want to create an IAM user, sorry. And auto-generated password, etc. And click on Next and Create User. And when we go back to the users list, <coughs> good, we can click on the vault user 
and we need to add a new permission and we want to attach an existing policy and here we have it administrator access next add permissions and we should be good to go so we have the vault user and if we click here we need to go to security credentials and create an access key and we have to select this uh, <coughs> third party service and it will ask me whether I understand this is this may not be the best solution I don't want to create any tags and I need the access key so let's go here back to the vault paste the access key and I want to copy the secret key and paste it here and just save it. So now I don't need you to save this, thank you. Basically, you can see that the engine is configured. Well, what is it good for? So let's say that you want to provide access to someone. And basically, after the AWS was successfully configured, you can click on generate credentials, select the type, and click on generate. And now you have an access key and a secret key, which provides you with access. And if you go back here to the IAM console under users and refresh it, you can see that this was successfully created. And once we cre uh, create this access key, we can go under access, leases, and AWS credentials, Amazon EC2 full access, and this will be the key which was generated or the lease. And as you can see, it is going to expire in one month. So let's say <clears throat> you don't want this access to be valid anymore. All you have to do is to click on revoke lease, confirm. And if you go back to the IAM center and refresh it, the user is gone. And we can also use the CLI. So Vault, uh, how do we do this? Vault. I think I have the command. So we can use the vault read AWS creds Amazon AC to full access. And this command is equivalent if we, if we were <coughs> generating it from the vault UI. So now we should have a new lease. Oh, let's enter the root token. Copy and paste it. And under AWS creds AC2 full access, we have the lease. And if we refresh on the AM console, we have the new user created. So that was all. This is how you can use the AWS Secrets engine.